China's local governments are facing a severe debt crisis that threatens their economic growth and financial stability. The crisis has several causes and consequences that we will explore in this section. One of the main causes of the local government debt crisis is the weak land sales revenue. Land sales are a major source of income for local governments, accounting for about 40% of their fiscal revenue in however, since 2021, China's real estate market has been in a slump, triggered by the default of Evergrande, the largest residential developer in the country. Evergrande owed more than $300 billion to various creditors, including local governments, banks, and overseas lenders. The collapse of Evergrande has caused a domino effect on other property developers and investors, leading to a sharp decline in land sales and prices. Another cause of the local government debt crisis is the high fiscal deficit. Local governments have been spending heavily on infrastructure projects to boost economic growth and employment, especially during the pandemic. However, their expenditure has far exceeded their revenue, resulting in a large gap that needs to be filled by borrowing. According to the International Monetary Fund IMF, China's local government debt reached a record high of 66 trillion yuan $9.5 trillion, in 2022, equivalent to half of the country's GDP. Most of this debt is hidden in off-budget entities called Local Government Financing Vehicles LGFVs, which are used to circumvent the official borrowing limits imposed by Beijing. The consequences of the local government debt crisis are serious and far-reaching. One of the consequences is the growth slowdown. As local governments struggle to repay their debts, they have to cut back on public spending and investment, which reduces the demand for goods and services and slows down economic activity. China's GDP growth target for 2023 is around 5%, which is modest compared to its historical average of over 8%. Some analysts believe that China's actual growth rate could be even lower than the official target, as local governments face more financial pressure. Another consequence of the local government debt crisis is the rising default risk. As LGFVs have a large amount of bonds maturing this year, they face difficulties in refinancing their debt or rolling it over. Some LGFVs have already asked banks to extend maturities and cut interest rates, while others have delayed payments or renegotiated terms with creditors. The default risk of LGFVs not only affects the local banking system, but also the global financial markets, as some LGFVs have issued bonds overseas. The IMF has warned that China's local government debt crisis could pose a systemic risk to the world economy if not properly managed. In conclusion, China's local government debt crisis is a complex and urgent problem that has been caused by weak land sales revenue, high fiscal deficit, and other factors. The crisis has negative impacts on China's economic growth, financial system, and international reputation. It also poses a challenge to President Xi Jinping's third term and his ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. How China will deal with this crisis remains to be seen.